Hi, this is Chris Rowlands for bestwindowsmobileapps.com, giving you a review of Resco Photo Manager. Now, this is pretty much the best way to view the photos on your device. Um, yeah, it, it is pretty much fantastic. Um, first thing I'll say is the entire interface is incredibly finger friendly. This is the little home screen it gives you, the little scrolly bit on it, yeah. Um, giving you instant access to your documents which shows images from the My Documents folder on your device and the My Documents folder on your storage card like the uh, the little pictures which seem to come with um, Windows Mobile at the moment the uh, little avatar photos they're on my device and then further down all these chairs are actually on my storage card um, so don't ask why but they are um, then the next one down is camera roll which shows all the different photos um, which are actually these are all the photos which are on my storage card um, from the dsim folder um, admittedly I have put other folders within that folder so like um, added other images or photo albums off my computer that I wanted to view but it all just goes under camera roll um, so then you can click home takes me back to this page. Favourites. Um, you can add uh, different folders to your favourites here and they will show up which gives you quick access to the ones that you want. My albums. Um, you can in fact uh, even in this app um, select a whole bunch of photos and then group them together into an album which will save them all into one file and well it'll yeah show up like this so and go home and then down here at the bottom browse device this is where you are pretty much as it says browsing your device um, you can have a variety of ways to view this so there's details uh, icons and names icons and details so when you go in and find a picture uh, it'll show you the if you can see that it'll show you the name of it and the dimensions as well um, go home, Oop. Okay. Go home. Um, there are there's always seems to be this menu button in the bottom right uh, there are so many <laughs> different things that you can do with these menus so there's uh, on the home screen you've got delete cache files settings about and registration um, I don't believe I've registered this yet. No, I haven't. There is, in fact, a seven-day um, demo available, but after seven days it expires. Um, to actually buy this is $24.95, which is, yes, it is definitely a lot. Um, and I think it does justify it, considering the large amount of stuff that you can do, but... I think that that hefty price tag will put off a lot of people. Um, so let's go back into this. Um, let's go to storage card. Oh, yeah. um, DSIM. This is my DSIM folder, which uh, I was mentioning. Um, in here, there are different folders. So there's pics, which is just random pictures that I like. Um, pictures that I've taken since coming to university. Different wallpapers. Um, as you've noticed, that you might have noticed, all of these um, images do, uh, the thumbnails do come up rather quickly. Um, those three girls there are actually on my course. Um, yeah, Wallpaper. In here, this is probably the best folder for showing off the actual pictures, um, because these are rather nice. Uh, let's go into Actions. Um, this Actions button here is for if you want to do anything with lots of different images at the same time, so I'll just select a few um, like that. You can also click that middle button and it will say select all, deselect all, or invert selection, but I don't want to do any of those. So I've selected those, click on action, and it'll give me a menu. So there's create album, as I was mentioning earlier, you can create an album from these, edit, and you can add a GPS position to any of your pictures, you can edit notes or add notes if there aren't any to begin with, 
or reset the item which tells it to um, recreate the thumbnail um, and a file you can copy or move to another folder or delete image you can convert the format so if it's in PNG um, you can convert it to well actually let's have a look um, uh, it gives you a whole bunch of options then actually it says um, rename it um, which output you want and you can choose JPEG BMP or PNG um, you can change where you want to save it to the quality and if it deletes the original and copies the meta tags as well uh, what other actions are there um, you can resize them so you can change what the re what the uh, resolution of the images are you can upload this is a very good feature I think um, being able to upload to social networks and photo stores as it says at the top there um, there's Facebook, Picasa, Flickr and Twitter I have no idea if they're planning on adding more to these in the future but you never know um, when you click on these it then asks you to log in I'm not going to because I don't want to show you my Facebook password um, but you get, get the idea of what that does um, there's also send to, bluetooth, email or an MMS um, if I get rid of that, so click back you can also go into menu um, create new folder, add this folder to favorites play a slideshow of the images in that folder view mode, that's changing how you view this sort now if I go by name um, you'll notice it is sorted by name but when you scroll you might have seen this already there's a little um, bar across the uh, side here very much like quick access in contacts um, and 